Okay, before I do anything, I want you to think about how you might solve this equation. So uh, maybe pause the video and think about that for a second. So if you thought about that, um, maybe you came up with the idea of taking 5x and subtracting 3x, and 5x minus 3x is 2x. Okay. If we do that, then what we have here is now just what we call a two-step equation. Okay, and next I would subtract 6 from both sides, get 2x equals 18, divide by 2 on both sides, and x is 9. So uh, what we do here is we, you know, we learn, learn one-step equations, two-step equations, and we just keep adding a little bit and a little bit of uh, complexity to each of these. Uh, so this new deal here, the catch here, is that we might have uh, like terms that we should combine before we move to the next thing. Okay. Uh, in this example, we have 1.2x minus 5.3x. And if we take 1.2x minus 5.3x, we'll get a negative 4.1x. Still plus 9, still equals 12 negative 4.1x equals, well, we would subtract 9 from both sides, right, and get 3. And then we would divide by negative 4.1. Okay, negative 4.1 divided by negative 4.1 is 1x, right, which is x. And 3 divided by negative 4.1. I'm just going to do 4.1 and then I'll make it negative because I know a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So we'll round it to 0.732. So negative 0.732, negative 0.732. That doesn't look like a 2. There we go. Alright, so there is one other added uh, layer. We might have to combine like terms before we can carry on to something else, or combining like terms would be the most efficient thing to do, let's say that. Okay, now pause the video again and think about how you might solve this or both of these equations. That looks pretty familiar right in here, so pause it and give it some thought. All right, now that you've thought about that, um, a lot of students, when they see a number outside of parentheses, as long as we are it's being multiplied, it's not added or subtracted. Uh, they want to distribute, and that is a good instinct to have. So 1.5 times 2, that's 3d. 1.5 times negative 1 is negative 1.5. That equals 0.5. Okay. Um, now we have a 5 and a negative 1.5. So let me just go ahead and subtract those two things. So 5 minus 1.5. 3.5, yeah, that equals 0.5, right. um, now I'll subtract 3.5 from both sides, 3d equals, now 0.5 minus 3.5 is going to be negative 3, divide by 3 on both sides, d equals, negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. Okay. If you didn't try this before, now having seen this, pause this and, and give this a try. Try solving it the way that I showed you here, but then I'm going to solve it. Um, now you know what, I'm going to solve it in the same way. Uh, so go ahead and give it an attempt, and uh, then come back. All right, so hopefully you gave that a try. We're going to distribute the negative 3. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 plus 5x equals, equals negative 9. Uh, negative 3x plus 5x, that's 2x. We have the minus 6 there still, equals negative 9. We'll add 6 to both sides, getting 2x equals negative 3. And we'll divide by 2. x equals negative 3 halves. Uh, or negative 1.5, but uh, we're not afraid of fractions, so we can leave it as x equals negative 3 halves. 
And those two things, combining like terms on both sides uh, and distributing before you move on to another step, uh, those two things are like the two new things, the two new layers that we add on to uh, solving equations. So um, I hope you find that helpful. And if you need any help, just let me know. I'll be right there. Thanks. Bye.